These cliffs will be one of the overlanding spots that I never forget. That's because something unexpected happened at these cliffs. Here's what happened. My brother Steve and I were on an overlanding trip and we decided to drive a Jeep trail that follows the ridge line of the cliffs. The cool thing is that there are dispersed camping sites with fire pits all along the ridge. So you can set up a camp right on the ridge and have one of the most amazing views you will ever get. So Steve and I did just that. And I've been to these cliffs twice before and I've seen these guys at a distance, but I never expected this. The next morning, we wake up to this. A herd of mountain goats came right next to our camp. We didn't want to scare them off, so Steve got these images on his cell phone. It was such an amazing experience, so I've thought about those mountain goats quite a bit, and I decided that we need more goats in our lives. Okay, what do I mean by that, and what does it have to do with putting more zen into your overlanding? So let me explain as we watch some shots of our drive along the ridge. Okay, first, I'm not a zen expert, actually not at all. But for me, it's about the joy of being and having this direct experience or direct encounter with reality in a way that is awe-inspiring. And using that definition, I think you can zen your overlanding. So when we first started overlanding, we had set routes with set miles, and we needed to drive those exact miles each day to make it to our next waypoint. That was a chore, and it always seemed like we were on a marathon to get to the next waypoint. And actually, we missed a lot along the way. So now we do just the opposite. When we go on a trip, we have no specific destination in mind. For example, on this trip, all Steve and I decided was that we were gonna drive the ridge trail and explore side trails. We would camp wherever we ended up at the end of the day. So the next day, we would button hook and take a mishmash of side trails that were away from the canyon rim back to where we started. And this process of exploring and discovering whatever we happen to bump into is really engaging for us. Doing this on this trip, we found a lake. We found this weird cabin kind of outhouse thing. Uh, we found a great hill climb and we found even mountain goats. So tip number two to zen your overlanding is to explore until you are inspired. Explore and put more goats in your overlanding. So one of the things we love to find that gives us pure joy when we are exploring is a great hill climb. So let me show you some shots of the hill climb and then as far as what's up next in no particular order, I have some fun footage of Sydney the overland puppy. I have a couple more zen tips that I think other content creators may not agree with. I have some footage of my brother and I just dorking around, and that's always <laughs> fun, I guess. Um, and I'll show you some more footage of that weird cabin, among other things. Okay, back to the hill climb. So it really was fun. It was fairly steep, it was loose, it had big potholes, and it wound its way up for a good half mile. When we rolled up to the start of it, we both actually paused for a second to take the measure of it, and then we dropped it into four low and up we went. Now to a rock crawler, this would have been nothing, but to two overland builds, it was definitely just steep enough to keep our attention. And the thing about video, every hill, no matter how steep on video, it just looks absolutely flat. So to show you a rough idea of the grade, here's what I did. I know this probably looks fairly tame on video, but here's the, the level. You tell me what angle that is. It's fun, I know that. Sydney's conked out while we're doing a big hill climb. I think she's officially an overlanding dog. All right, next tip to zen your overlanding, bring your best friend. They bring joy to everything you do. This is Sydney, she's seven months old, and her dad was an Aussie doodle, and her mom was a Bernie doodle. So she's part Bernese mountain dog, part Australian shepherd, and part poodle, but mostly the Australian shepherd came out in her, and she is awesome, and she's in training to be an overlanding dog. Hey, how's it going over there, co-pilot? What do you want? That's for dinner. You gonna help make dinner? Hey, where do you wanna go from here? 
Can we turn left or right? Sheik, if you want to go right. Okay, we'll turn right. No maps needed. Down. Wait. I'm feeling guilty that I'm having so much good food, so I'm giving her a treat. Sydney, are we go going to the right place on the map? Back up. Good girl. What's the matter? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? You happy I'm back? Oh, you go over here, okay? Sydney, come here. Come here. Is everything okay? Did Timmy fall in the well? What are you trying to tell us? Sydney. <whistles> truck. Come on, truck. Yes. It's a big drop right there. I suggest we go around. What do you think? Shake. Good girl. Hey, Sydney. See, I like the front seat better. Sydney's over here protecting the forerunner from a shadow, I think. Show me what you're barking at. What are you barking at? Come on. That's a big bark, Sydney. Is it a shadow? Did you see a shadow? You're gonna feel silly, you know. I think we're good, right? We're good? Let's go get our dinner. Smile for the camera. We did it, let's go. Okay, this next series of clips are some of the trails away back from the ridge up in the woods. And to you content creators that may be watching this, I'll be interested if you agree or disagree with the next tip. Tip number four on how to put more zen in your overlanding is to put the cameras down. Don't film. So we do trips that are specifically designated as not filming trips. For example, Katrinka and I may go on an overlanding trip or take the drip boat out or go to the beach. The purpose of the trip is to be in the moment and to be present with the person you are with. Cameras have a great way of letting you see detail in the world that you may not have noticed if you weren't in that creative mode and looking through a lens. However, they can also disconnect you from the people you are with. So choose when to film and when not to film. If you consciously do that, more zen, more goats. Okay, the next tip, tip number five, is basically to give your brother grief. It is therapeutic and will bring joy to your soul. Steve. Yeah. If you run across the fields through these flowers with your arms open singing the hills are alive, I'll video it. Yeah, no. <laughs> go left or right here it's a left <laughs> all right my brother here's here's how you handle your brother who has excellent navigation skills you tell him to go left but the real way is right <laughs> that little trick did not end well for me so I'm seriously on my skid plate right now I don't know how big it is but I have to hop out and look um, it's big I'm um, actually you're probably on your rear dip, so you're going to want to back out. What? Seriously? I just had like this flashback. Didn't you get stuck on a stump on your <laughs> rear dip before? My rear dip, it must be exceptionally it must be low. low. It hits everything. Yeah, that's... It's I have uncanny. no idea. It's uncanny. It's, I mean, it's every trip my rear dip gets hung up on something. <laughs> Can you back out of it? I'm gonna try. All right. Oh, that sounds good. Who in their right mind would try and drive over that? Um, I think it was a bold move on your part to try and uh, <laughs> negotiate that obstacle. I don't know who's putting these big rocks like right under my truck that I don't see, but it's not, uh, it's not gonna end well one of these times. My truck's not gonna clear. Do you wanna stand on my bumper? It's too easy. Am I clear? Sort of. <laughs> you left me um, like a Christmas ornament. I feel like a reindeer. Looks good. <laughs> What's for lunch? I've got uh, buffalo style chicken and some Havarti. 
we okay. got going here. This is what I call a Katrinka salad. And it's a Katrinka salad because I don't know what it is, but she got it for me. Um, it might be a hint that I need to lose a few. Something I learned on a trip somewhere. I eat my salads with a spoon. Who does that? When you, when you forgot your fork, that's what you do. Uh -huh. All right, I've got to show you this weird cabin that we found. And then after that, one last tip on how to zen your overlanding. It looks like there's a cabin or something up there on the ridge. Yeah, I see that. That's a very seriously constructed fire pit. Concrete and everything. Let's take a look inside. Uh, it's an outhouse. <laughs> okay. Um, that was unexpected. I don't know if it's a hunting camp. Just a, but why build an outhouse in the middle of nowhere? That was a bizarre find and not one that necessarily adds any zen to your overlanding trip, but had to show it to you. We now set up camp for the night and the next morning we'll bring the final tip. What do we got, Steve? Steaks? We've got steaks that are seasoned with Montreal. Evidently some people feel the need to buy a steak for their dog. That's what Katrinka did for Sydney. Fire in the hole. Safety first. Can't complain about those. We are hiking down this trail to see if there's a good view. Okay, tip number six is get out of the car. Make your overlanding trip about something other than just driving. Go on a hike, ride a mountain bike, go fishing, whatever you enjoy. Do we need a map? <laughs> we do not need a map. All right, show us the way, Sydney. Beautiful. Look at that cliff. Sydney likes her Uncle Steve. That's us at the Yellow Arrow. The hike was worth it. As we look at the drone footage, I'll throw in a bonus tip right here. For putting more zen in your overlanding, be quiet. What do I mean by that? Well, one of my favorite overlanding moments was on a trip when I got up early and I sat on a ridge and had a cup of coffee and just enjoyed the morning. So make time for some quiet time when you can just soak it all in. I hope some of this has resonated with you. And if you have great ways to put Zen into your overlanding, let me know. That's it, guys. It's all good fun. Thanks for watching.